Okay, so now on to the next lesson in Codility. It's a respectable task and it's called Flags. Okay, a non-empty array A consisting of N integers is given. A peak is an array element which is larger than its neighbours. More precisely, it's an index P such that 0 is S and P is less than N minus 1 and A P minus 1 is less than A P which is greater than A P plus 1. For example, in the following array, this array here, it has four peaks. You're going on a trip to a range of mountains whose relative heights are represented by array A, as shown in the figure below. You have to choose how many flags you should take with you. The goal is to set the maximum number of flags on the peaks according to certain rules. So flags can only be set on peaks. What's more, if you take K flags, then the distance between any two flags should be greater than or equal to K. The distance between indices P and Q is the absolute value P minus Q. Okay, so for example, given the mountain range represented by the array above with N equals 12, if you take two flags, you can set them on peaks one and five, one and five. Three flags, you can set them on one, five and 10. Okay, so you can set one, five and 10. They need to be at least three apart. So you can't put one on three. And four flags, you can only set three flags on one, five and 10 because three is too close to one and five. You can therefore set the maximum of three flags in this case. Write a function that given a non-empty array A of n integers returns the maximum number of flags that can be set on the peaks. So in this example the function should return three. Write an efficient algorithm for n which is the number of points on the mountain range is an integer within the range of 1 to 400,000 and each element of array A is an integer within the range of 0 and 1 billion. Okay, so um, I'm just going to paste the example into my class. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new array of just the peaks. So I'll make a new array with the values 1, 3, 5 and 10 in it. And then we'll use that array. So first we'll establish where the peaks are and then we'll work on that array. So let's just have a look at that. Um, So I'm going to make an, a list. We don't know how long it is yet, so I'll make it a list and I'll call it peaks. And I'll use an array list. And I'll loop through the values of A from the, from the first index. I don't need to worry about the start because it said that the, um, the peaks, the value before and after it are higher, so don't need to worry about the start, don't need to worry about the end. And if the value before it, or the value at the index before it is less than it, and the value after it is less than it, then i is a peak. So we'll add i. to our peaks array. So that should give us just the peaks in the array. Now at this point I think I could say if peaks is empty we can return zero. In fact if peaks length, peak size 
is greater than or equal to 1 we can return peak size so if there's only one peak we know that is the correct answer okay so now I'm gonna think about what the maximum number of flags we can have because I'm gonna loop from the maximum number down to one flag and see if we can put our flags on these peaks and as soon as I manage that is the answer so I'm going to start at the maximum number of flags now the maximum number of flags is going to be the square root of the difference between the top and the bottom so if in this case we've got 10 and 1 the square root of that is 3 so the maximum we could ever put is 3 because they have to be 3 apart so we could never get four because we would need one at one, then five, then nine, and then we'd spill over. So I'm gonna start by working out the maximum number of flags. It's gonna be the square root of the final peak, which is peak size peaks at peak size minus one minus peaks get zero uh, now I suppose I should math.seal that sealing it just in case it comes to a fraction and we'll just cast that to an int so that's the maximum number of flags we're gonna get and then I'm gonna loop through so this is an attempt for max flags flags is greater than one because we've already dealt with one there flags minus minus so this is our attempt now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna on an attempt I'll start off at peak one and so if this first value is four, say, uh, I'll look at the next peak and see if it's four away. If it is, I'll update the index. If it isn't, I'll just go on to the next one. And I'll work from the back as well to make it more efficient. So I'll, we know we're always gonna be able to put a flag on the first and the last one, because the first one's always gonna be further away than the next one in from the next one so we we can always put a flag on the first and the last one so here i'm going to start off at start index which is going to be zero and end index is going to be peak size minus one so we're going to put our first flags on there so i'm going to say in start flag equals peak or peaks at start index and end flag equals peaks at end index okay now we can say while start index is less than end index so I'm going to loop in from either end coming towards the center and terminate this loop when start index crosses over end index and I'm just going to add one on start index and subtract one from end index now if peaks now at start index is greater than or equal to the start flag plus the attempt that we're making which is called flags then we can place a flag so up here uh, first we've placed two flags 
it was 0 or 1 we would have dealt with it there so we've placed our start flag and our end flag if we can place a flag here flags placed plus plus and we can move our start flag to a new position which is peaks get the new start index and similarly from the other direction we can say if peaks at end index is less than or equal to end flag minus flags so if we can place a flag at the end coming in flags place plus plus and end flag is now peaks at the end index uh, now we also need to make sure that we don't place the, our start flag too close to the end index so here I we're going to need to say if peaks get start index is also less than or equal to end flag minus flags and actually we're going to need to do the same thing for both the start and the end so we can only update our start or our end index if it doesn't get too close to one of the two flags that we placed on either end and then after this loop if flags placed equals flags that's our answer so I'm not sure if that's right but let me just explain that again so in our loop I'm going to start off with our start index here and our end index here and then I'm going to step through reducing in each direction and I'm going to look at the next peak I'm actually looking at the peaks array I'm going to see if we can place a flag there and if we can place a flag there we can only place one if it's at least the flags attempt value away from a previously placed flag if we can place one we'll place it and if the result of looping through in from both ends results in us having the right amount of flags placed then that's our answer if not we'll reduce the flag number by one and try again and keep reducing by one until we get the answer if we get all the way to the end uh, I don't think we should be able to get all the way to the end but if we do we haven't placed any flags so I'll return zero so I think that's our answer um, I'm just going to de check to see if it comes up with the correct answer here three that's the right answer I'll just debug through and explain it So we're first going to make our peaks array so that contains 1, 3, 5 and 10 uh, it's less than 1 or well, it's greater than 1 rather so we don't want to do that if the peaks if there was just one peak the answer is 1 if there were no peaks the answer is 0 the maximum flags we're going to be able to place is three so we start off with three our start index is the first position which is zero and our end index is three 
start flag is one and end flag is 10. We've placed two flags, one on each end. Start index is currently less than end index. Start index moves up to position one, end index moves down to position two. And now can we place a flag at position three? It's one plus three is four and the value is three so we can't place it can we place a flag coming in from the end at position five yes we can so we place a flag there at position five now have we placed three flags we're attempting to place three flags we have so that's our answer. So let's submit that and see how it does. So I just need to import the array list and list. We run the test. We know it's going to pass the test with this three and submit the task and see how it gets on. And 100%. So that's uh, quite a challenging task, but that's my solution to the flags task in Codility. So thanks for watching.